manner. Um, I thought it would be nice if you guys at the ATAP had it on the show as well. Um, about what, what makes this incubator so special, some of its features, and why we are so grateful to you. So, for starters, is the whole um, uh, design. Um, even for the non experts, it could be rather uh, obvious from uh, the moment you approach it, the differences between uh, this incubator and the others. I try to imagine that. Um, like you were buying a car, so um, I think we would all agree there's a substantial difference between, between uh, the, let's say, BMW and the, well, the rest of the cars. Okay. Um, so it kind of feels massive. Uh, you can see from the beginning it's not a toy, um, it has a robust uh, construction. Um, and uh, Second of all, it's not just an incubator, it's a, it's a hybrid, okay? So, um, a classical incubator, you can enter um, by opening the, the, the door, doors, uh, side doors, okay? And entering the incubator. But uh, with this machine, you have the ability to approach the baby. Um, if you need, uh, for instance, um, some, uh, if, you, if you need a fast approach, uh, if you have a uh, resuscitation, for instance, if you have to do the emergency intubation or some other invasive procedures that need the immediate approach. Okay, so it's very easy to get to the baby just by pressing the air. Uh, it opens up and you can see that the heating starts automatically. Okay, so you can just adjust the power out of it. So this heater is the one that uses the NASA technology for heating. It's, a, it's like a cone infrared heating that is actually um, taking care of thermal neutral environment for the baby, but not overheating the um, me, <laughs> the one that's actually uh, handling the baby. Also, uh, automatically, um, a kind of a wall Forming. You cannot see it, but it's composed of vapor and infrared uh, radiation all around uh, the incubator walls. Uh, you can feel it if you move your hand. So that's uh, one other nice trick uh, um, and a feature from the DVD. So they made quite a lot of improvements in the whole design of the incubator, taking care to minimize the infections. So uh, we don't have to touch the, um, the controls over here all, all the time. And the, um, the alarm um, can be switched off uh, as key. Other than that, um, the uh, humidifying system is made completely different. Uh, in a classical incubator, you have like this uh, massive closing system. Okay, so I'll try to silence it and regulate the temperature, okay? Um, which vaporizes the water. But here, you've got a little pressurizer which just injects a lot of um, pressurized water, vapor, and actually takes care that. Uh, throughout all the incubator with vapor um, is stable. Okay. Um, this is not a pony, as you can see, it is a huge infant, but it has a lot of poses on it. Um, for instance, uh, this baby has a, a, a silence, so it has the abdominal tray, so we frequently need to adjust some um, things, and um, there are a lot of maneuvers. So this incubator really is a great um, advancement for us. It also has this nice little um, procedural tab, which is uh, quite nice. Also, when you need to do something, some um, immediate procedures like being punctures or um, I don't know, putting 
chest tube or similar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's completely mobile also and um, it's easily movable, although uh, it is pretty robust and heavy. So uh, this would be the, I'd say, um, most um, advanced features that uh, really make the difference. And it will make a uh, difference in our, in our everyday routine. So thank you guys a lot again from the whole team. The others are <laughs> outside right now. Um, yeah. So this little fellow is uh, extremely preterm. Uh, he was uh, born with a birth weight of 700 grams. So he'll be staying with us for at least two months. Um, and Omnibet is his home from birth until delivery because of this um, hybrid design enables us and the parents actually to have a closer contact with him. So uh, his parents come by every day and they can so, hold him and uh, nurture him uh, all the time. This uh, machine is providing a thermal ne neutral environment for them uh, so they can really uh, bond without any fears. So this is actually the greatest advancement in our everyday care for Britain in infants. It's uh, composed of um, Omnipad and the G shuttle system which you see here and it's not only just a battery, the source of power, uh, but also is a source of um, oxygen and the air. Uh, so this complete system um, is enabling us to buy time, which is precious for everybody, for, but uh, especially for, for the tiniest infants. What we had to do before um, is um, we had to intubate most of them um, because that there's a distance between the deli delivery room and the ICU. But uh, nowadays, uh, non-invasive intubation is preferred. So this uh, system enables us to go with it. It's completely mobile um, to the uh, delivery room and um, uh, admit the patient to the Omnipad and do whatever is necessary, um, the initial resuscitation and actually uh, carry the baby back uh, within the incubator um, using non-invasive ventilation. What we lack here at this moment is um, also GE um, Star Resuscitator which we also bought for us and we thank you for that. Um, and that resuscitator actually is um, something we use every day um, because we take care of um, complicated pregnancies and that machine actually opens up the lungs and enables the baby uh, which is breathing spontaneously to continue to breathe um, spontaneously and uh, we can provide the non-invasive ventilation. It also carries the uh, vital function monitor with it so actually it's a kind of a complete uh, intensive care bed, which is mobile.